week six of the high school football season, and we're here to preview it. Mark Heller here with Kyle Odegaard at Varsity Extra. Uh, we're going to foray into Division Two sectional games have begun not everywhere, but almost everywhere. And uh, this one is going to, this section uh, for Division Two is going to start off with a bang. Campo Verde against Marcos Deniza. Uh, Marcos Deniza coming off a waffle stomping at the hands of South Point Catholic. I don't know if waffle stomping is a word, I just like to use it. But they got hammered by South Point Catholic down in Tucson last week. Campo Verde, as I uh, alluded to in the uh, rewind video that we did, has more than shut me up because they have surpassed the win total, even that I expected for the uh, the whole season already. The uh, Coyotes off to a very fast start. Obviously with Marcos, it starts with Josh Eckley and his running passing ability and how well he can do such things. He was extremely limited um, against South Point last week, and it definitely had a an effect on Marcos and their offense. Campo Verde's defense has been strong basically all year so far. Um, this is by far their biggest test, and obviously for a team that wants to win the section, you're going to have to go through schools like this to get there. Eckley's health sort of still up in the air. Is he the defining factor in this game? Can Campo Verde hang with Marcos and their athletes with Eckley and without Eckley? Yeah, I think if Eckley's fully healthy, uh, Marcos Tenizo wouldn't have too much trouble in this game. They're just better across the board. Their program's been one of the elite programs for five, six, seven years now. Um, but, you know, yeah, you look in retrospect and – does Marcos wish that they kept Eckley out of that South Point game because they lost so bad? Probably because, you know, he's playing on a gimpy ankle and it's not going to help when you're running around. Uh, but they didn't know that going in, obviously. And if he's not 100%, Campo Verde's defense is good. And if you don't have to worry about his mobility, that's, you know, a, a big part of his game, running out of the pocket and design runs and things like that. So Extending plays. Extending plays. So if they can uh, sit back and kind of make him do it with his arm, that's going to help Campo Verde's defense a lot. And I don't know, I still think Marcos is going to win this game, but if Eckley is not 100%, it could certainly be closer than it would be if he was fully ready to go. Yeah, I, I do think Marcos is going to win this game. I think it will be close. I think, uh, I think Marcos' defense is going to be good enough to help negate Campo Verde, um, especially their, their, uh, their running attack. Um, Campo Verde quarterback uh, Luke Pineda, got dinged up last week um, I'm told he's gonna he's been cleared and he's good to go so that's good news because they were worried about a possible concussion uh, late in their game last week a loss to Highland but um, he should be good to go he's another interesting two-way threat but I, I think you're right I think Marcos has the athletes to help negate that offense and and I and I do think Marcos defensively is not great but good enough to kind of psych kind of a, a shut down Campo Verde's running game enough to where Marcos can score some points even if Heck, even if uh, even if Eckley's not 100 percent yeah Marcos defense has really been pretty bad in four of the five games they did a good job against Chavez but they need to show that they can play some defense because if Eckley gets hurt a little bit like this it hurts them so much because the defense hasn't been able to stop people so Campo's not a super explosive offense they're good but they're not going to score 40 points on you right. they shouldn't so this is a big test for Marcos Denise's defense to show that they're, they're good on both sides of the ball and it's not just Eckley doing everything. 